<laughs> Sandcastles on the beach. I can't believe how nice it is actually for this time of year. And ice creams on the prom. You're queuing for the donkeys, you're queuing for fish and chips. New Year in Cleethorpes and scenes like an August bank holiday with temperatures reaching the mid-teens. It's like summer really, like we expect it in summer but in the middle of January we're like, no way. <laughs> We've just seen the queues for like peppers and everything and it's just been like everywhere. So we're like Covid and all that as well, so it does help a lot when this happens. The unseasonably warm weather brought visitors from far and wide including a scooter club from West Yorkshire. Oh, the father will have come to Cleefarts in January at second. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it'll be this busy and this warm. I'm yeah. from London, so being here and visiting Cleethorpes is one of my favourite little hobbies when I'm back. And I'm a local and I don't, I don't come to Cleethorpes enough, so it's lovely to catch up with a friend and then have a lovely walk in the sunshine. We're from Cunnisburn near Doncaster. Can't believe it, it's 2nd of January and we're sat here on sand. It's amazing. It does feel odd, doesn't it, for the time of year? But it's lovely to be by the sea. And look, it feels a bit safer with the fresh air too. After the uncertainty over possible further restrictions over the Christmas period, an unexpected influx of visitors has been welcomed by seaside businesses, as has the opportunity to walk off any recent excesses in the sun. Philip Norton, BBC Look North, Cleethorpes.